the evidence is unarguable that toxic air is a killer. It's a matter of life and death. Uh, if we were speaking uh, decades ago, we'd be speaking in a similar way about you know, the great smog in London in the 1950s that led to brave politicians uh, passing the Clean Air Act to get rid of the smog in uh, London. If we were speaking a few decades ago, we'd be talking about the dangers of tobacco and our people denied the evidence and the science around the dangers of tobacco. In 2006, I voted to ban smoking in public places. Many politicians voted against that policy. 20 years on now, we wouldn't dream of bringing back smoking in public spaces, in restaurants, bars, live music venues. You speak to the chief medical officer, Chris, Professor Chris Whitty, you look at the evidence from Imperial College, it's quite clear that air quality leads to around 4,000 premature deaths a year in our great city, leads to children having stunted lungs forever, leads to adults having a whole host of health issues from asthma to cancer, uh, dementia to heart disease. Look, we can be a generation of politicians who kicks the can down the road, or we can be the generation of politicians and citizens who takes action. I want to be the latter, not the former.